and welcome to the wetlands at Bobby Jones. This is an important water quality project for the city of Sarasota. The district helped fund construction of an 18-acre system of connected treatment wetlands. Those wetlands take flow from two tributaries of Phillippe Creek. My name is Mark Walton. I'm a senior environmental scientist with the district's swim program, which is the surface water improvement and management section. It takes runoff from 5,800 acres of urbanised watershed, attenuates the nutrient flows before they flow into Phillippe Creek and onwards to Sarasota Bay, which is an estuary of national significance and a swim priority water body. Reduction of nutrients to that system is going to have a lot of benefits. This project is expected to remove over 900 pounds of nitrogen and over 300 pounds of phosphorus each year. The City of Sarasota is very appreciative for what the, the district has done for us in collaborating on this project. This is a great example of having the right scale project at the right location to maximise those water quality benefits. Constructing this project involved making connections first to the tributaries. We have water control structures at both Philby Creek BB branch and Main B branch. That brings water into this system. This area was dug out to create the wetlands. It was done at different grades. So we have areas where it's deeper and the water can settle out and then shallow shelf zones where aquatic vegetation can establish. And those different construction zones within the system help filter those nutrients. The water that's coming from the north and then it ends up out in the bay, it's being filtered through this piece of property through the wetlands. And prior to this project, we didn't have that. In addition to removing the nutrients from the water, the wetlands creating an attraction for wildlife in this area. Birds, fish, alligators of course. Projects like this are really important to further the district's mission of improving the water quality in Sarasota Bay and other priority water bodies. As we keep improving water quality in those systems, we're going to continue to improve seagrass habitat and for the benefit of all users of the bay.